Hey Floss Tube, it's Lori from Mischievous Stitches. I thought I would pop in this Sunday afternoon to share with you where I've been, what I've been up to, share with you a finish and some stash and some fair winds. So I haven't really stitched much since October. And I thought in October I would get a, a quick start on Christmas gifts for the kids and for family and friends. And so I was doing a lot of crocheting and I had dropped some pieces off at the fair. And when I went to pick them up, it was my birthday weekend, but I want to share with you those pieces. And um, I was pretty excited. So first one I, I entered into our state fair was this You and I. And friends, I don't remember the name of it, but I will list it below. Um, some of you watched me stitch this last year for, um, with my Instagram photos. It is chock full of specialty stitches. Um, in the trees, there are cams, coils, and satin stitches over one. Um, Smyrna crosses. Just it's, it was a it was a pleasure to stitch. I purchased this piece, or the pattern, at um, Cross Stitch and Country Crafts in, is it Johnson City, Tennessee, last January. Nope, I'm telling a story. January 18, and I finished it that, that spring, and that's that picture. And I don't have my ribbon, but I ended up win winning a blue ribbon on this piece, a first place ribbon for this category. And I was very happy with that. And this is one that I finished this past year. This is a work basket, Faith, Hope, and Love. I had it framed shortly before um, the fair. And I added my husband and my initials on either end. And this is a monochromatic piece. It was a pleasure to stitch. I really loved it. And on this one, I too got a blue ribbon on this one as well. I love the frame on this. I thought it really complemented the, the shapes that were in the piece itself. And it has a little, you can't tell as much maybe through the video, but it has some of the gray that is in the, the pattern. And my favorite piece, ta-da! I was so super excited about this. I think I grabbed my husband's arm and shook him. <laughs> But this is my 13th Colony Bay piece, um, and it's by, from By the Bay Needle Arts. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble picking it up. So let me do it like this. <gasps> and it actually says it's the Sweet States piece. So it was... The best, um, it was the 150th anniversary of the South Carolina State Fair, and it's the Sweet States. So I did the best in the home and crafts, um, that category, with this piece. And I, I am super, super excited about that. I, when I saw that, we, you know, because you don't get the results. You can go online and look at the results, but I like to go in, visit the fair, um, because the judging, of course, is before the fair. And I want to see it. I want to see it displayed and, and to see what I won. And when I did that, my husband and I went one afternoon and I was, I was floored. I was so super excited, kind of speechless, which is unusual for me, but I'm um, very, very pleased with this one. And um, I'm looking forward to entering some next year. So that afternoon, since it was my birthday weekend, uh, the Rock Hill... Stitch in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina, there is the Stitch and Frame Shop. And it's about an hour away from the state capitol where the fair was held. So I asked my husband to take me there for a little birthday shopping. And um, I had fun, so I'm going to show you what I got. When I got there, I happened to be talking to my giggles, which is Mary and Donna and Natasha. And when I got there, I had some birthday gifts there too. So that was really fun, and I had a great trip, and of course, we chatted a lot on the way home so I could show them in advance what I bought, but let me show, show you real quick. I just bought um, some of the petite cotton, what do you call them again? 
I'm out of practice. <laughs> uh, what are these things called? Anyway, you guys know. I don't need to tell you. But I wanted different shades of red. I'm really enjoying red samplers right now. And I got the fabric. And once again, the um, sulky threads. That's it. The sulky threads and the fabric for the Cranberry Christmas by Hands on Designs. Uh, these, these pieces really spoke to me. And maybe eventually I'll get them stitched in on the tree one year. I also bought the Sampler Company, which is Brenda Keys. This is Country House Sampler. I love all the reds in this piece. I, did, I also bought the, the fabric to go with it so I could give it a start. And I bought 40 count flax. This one they had, I would I would not have paid attention to this piece, but they had it on the wall and as a model, and I fell in love. And this is Sampler's Not Forgotten. It is BG 1874, and it it was just everything that day. I walk in, I'm, I'm picking other things out, and I saw that, and I said, I've got to come home with this. So I have this. And then I also have, this is Parchment Tapestry. Oh, I've got something stuck in there. This is by Rosewood Manor. But look at these colors. I bought the um, 40 count parchment. Of course, it's the Parchment Tapestry. You gotta have parchment linen, right? But look at these threads. Aren't they gorgeous? So compare, like always, compare that to this. Isn't that nice? So at this point, I think I've bought enough to um, exceed my life expectancy, but, you know. <laughs> Part of stitching is collecting, right? And the other thing I got was... Um, Primitive Merry Christmas Pillow. I've seen a lot of you all stitching this one or st was stitching this one throughout Christmas. And I saw your pictures on Instagram. And I bought Gingerbread Belfast 32 count to stitch it on. And I think it's going to be a little darker than what I'm wanting. But um, I love the pattern. And then two, two weeks after that, my husband and I, um, our anniversary, our wedding anniversary is in November. And we took off to the, the mountains in, Cher in Cherokee, North Carolina for, for a weekend, long weekend. And I went down into Pigeon Forge and visited D Dixie Darling. So I bought some things for Christmas. You can see from my purchase from, purchases from Stitch and Frame, I was just, I was, it's Christmas. I'm wanting to decorate and I want to stitch Christmas. And, and um, so I bought a couple of Mill Hill kits and I've not done any of these in years. But Stitch and Frame had a lot of them stitched and had them in pre-made frames. And I, so I bought a couple of the frames. So they had frames to fit them in. And they had them on display. And they were beautiful. So this is A Visit from St. Nick. And this is Buttons and Beads Winter Series. This is Cardinal Forest. I told you incorrectly. This is from this is a visit from Saint Nick. It's a series, and this is a jolly jolly old elf. And this series is buttons and beads winter series, and this is Cardinal Forest. So I bought both of those, and the frame to go with, and of course Dixie Darling. Um, the owner of Dixie Darling is the designer for Foxwood Crossing, and so I bought another one of the sleighs. I did one set a couple of years ago here on Floss Tube, and it was a Santa, and I really enjoyed stitching it. So it's it's going to be I'm going to stitch it and have it on the larger of the the sleighs. And I also bought these part. I'm talking so fast. I'm so nervous. I haven't done <laughs> that practice again. But I bought the sleighs, and 
I got those because, you know, farmhouse is really popular right now. And that red just draws me. So those are my purchases. Things I haven't shared with you because I've not been around for a few months. Um, just shortly before November started, I had a finish on a piece. And I have been stitching this here with you. And this is a Words of Praise, Praise Sampler. And here it is. I can't remember if I showed it to you all or not. But if I did, I apologize. I'm just going to show it to you again. So it said to God, to God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, be honor, praise, and glory given by all on earth and all in heaven. So I got this um, as a kit. There was a shop that had went out, of set, uh, went out of business and there was a sale going on and my sweet friend Diana picked this one up for me and brought it to me. And so... I have it, and I'd like to pass this pattern on to someone if you'd, if you'd like it. Just comment below, and then when I do the next video, which I hope to do within the next two weeks, um, I will choose a name and then get that out up to you in the mail. I know I want to apologize in advance. I have a scissors fob that I had, um, someone had won in the last video that I had, and I have not gotten that out, and I do apologize, but I will get that out to you as well. So if you're interested, just comment below. Um, just put praise sampler. Don't, uh, don't mention that it's a giveaway or anything like that. Just the normal rules, and um, I'll pick a winner for that. Um, one other thing, a couple of uh, videos back, I mentioned, um, let, hold on just a second. I can't remember the name of it now. Um... A sampler, it's called Charity for All, and it was by Erica Michaels Designs. And it was um, quotes from Abraham Lincoln's second inaugural address. And I showed that, and there was so much interest that I reached out to the designer and asked if it was, in, which is Erica Michaels, which is Linda Stoltz, and asked her if it was still in print, and she told me it was not. Um, I suggested that maybe you all reach out to her so she would understand that there was interest and she listened. So I want to read to you an email that she sent me about a week ago. And it's, no, it's been two weeks. She said, I'm releasing Charity for All. It will start shipping to my retailer, retailers next week, uh, the 15th of January. And I have posted about it on my webpage. I'm a traditional wholesale designer, and folks should not contact me to purchase it. Rather, they would want to contact their favorite retailer. My automatic shops will have it by the end of next week, if not sooner, and others shortly after, depending on what the, or when they place their order with me. You may want to share with your followers, but please encourage them to contact their shops and be patient a bit longer so that they have time to get them in stock. So I want to show you this again because there was a lot of interest in that. And I'm just thankful that she she did listen and she she understood that there was a lot of interest in it. So as she said, the name of this is Charity for All and reach out to your local shops and, and ask them to get it for you. I will read it to you again because I think they're just powerful words. And it says, with malice towards none, with charity for all with firmness in the right, as God gives us to see the right. Let us strive on to finish the work we are in, to bind up the nation's wounds, to care for him who shall have borne the battle, and for his widow and his orphan, to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. To me, those are timeless words. That was a um, a period there where those strength this this these are strong, powerful words, and it meant something then, but they're just as powerful today. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. So there's that, and in November, first part of November, actually two days after our trip to um, Dixie Darling. I had a fall and I broke, 
I broke my left arm. I actually broke the, the radius in my, le in my left arm. And I now have um, nine screws and a big scar. And I have not been able to stitch. So I'm healing fine. I'm doing fine. My spirits are up. Um, but I've just had to find something else I could do because I just had, I had my cast off last Thursday. Excuse me again. <coughs> I apologize. But I had my cast off last Thursday. And I've got a little bit of a scar. I don't know if you can see it. And so I can't move my arm here. But I haven't started therapy. So I know that, that things will get better over the months. But it took some time because <laughs> when I broke it, the first thing I'm thinking of, not at whether I could ride again or, or drive or whatever, am I going to be able to stitch? Because I'm a two-handed stitcher, but I'm also a left-handed stitcher. So I was real careful about making sure I keep my fingers limber, <laughs> but I still had no strength to grab and hold the needle because I had tried several times over the past few weeks. To stitch and have been able to unable to and stitching with my right hand and not being able to use this one because like I said I've been stitching a lot two-handed or stitching it in hand it wasn't working so I just told myself be patient you're gonna get through this you're gonna be fine and um, and I am I'm on the other side of that hill um, or at the crest and, and it's gonna be smooth sailing down from here so um, therapy will start in about a week and a half, and I will get that movement back. But like I said, I, that's about as far as I can move it forward. And I've had muscle loss, so you can see my fingers just automatically bending here. Um, but all that's going to come back. So thanks for all that reached out to me and messaged me. It's um, I do appreciate it, and it's so sweet. Um, but I'm good. I'm going to be good. Other than that, I did, for the first time last night, put needle to thread. And let me grab the piece real quick. I picked up Rose Quaker, and it's by Sticky Dean. <laughs> and, um, what is it? I always get the name wrong, so I'm going to try to show you right there. There it is. You see that? That's the name. I pronounce it wrong. But it's the Rose Quaker, so all of the colors are in shades of brown and mocha and pink and plum and mauve. And where are my threads? They're behind you. And I don't know if you can see them well, but I love this. So I'm going to continue to work on that. Because there's not as many color changes, and I am, it's taken me longer to actually stitch because muscle memory is there. But um, once again, I'm going to get there. But I know that it just just stitching is therapy in so many ways. Stitching is therapy when you're having a bad day, and stitching is therapy when you broke your hand. So I am going to keep, continue to work on this, and I'm going to do my best to answer any comments that come through um, on this video. But I want to thank you all for stopping and spending a little bit of your Sunday afternoon visiting with me and leaving a comment. And for all those that, have, that are new to this channel, welcome. And until next time, happy stitching. Bye-bye.